Hello, I'm JT Quicks, and I love you all, and you're all awesome, okay? Uh, this week, we're going to talk about how the forces of love defends love and freedom, okay? That's what we're going to talk about this week, okay? We're going to talk about how the forces of love defends love and freedom when it defends heaven and when it's conquering evil, okay? Because that's what it does, all right? And I'm going to explain this to you, okay? All right? That's going to be the name of the video, okay? My soul is already in heaven. I'm with Jesus Christ, love, and heaven, okay? My soul is already in heaven. I know what heaven knows, okay? I always believe in myself, and I never, ever give up to win. Me and heaven never lose, okay? Against evil, okay? And this is increasing the forces of my love. And I see more and more and more of the truth. I actually see Satan. I see the truth in real time. Okay? And this is how come I can explain all this stuff to you. Okay? And the truth on how to conquer evil and get your soul back in heaven where it belongs. That's what these videos are all about. I want you to conquer evil so you win. And put your soul back in heaven where it belongs. Okay? We love you. We pray for you. Okay? And we cheerlead your soul to heaven. We, Jesus Christ, love in heaven, okay? We love you, we pray for you, and we cheerlead your soul to heaven, okay? And we got your back if you get attacked by evil, okay? Because you're going to go up against evil when you do this, all right? Uh, okay, so let's get back to the subject, okay? In all my videos, I'm going to explain to you how you deliver your soul to heaven and the causes and effect of prejudice and hate versus the forces of love, things like that. I'm going to explain all this stuff. It's all the truth from heaven, okay? Because heaven is the truth. And in order for you to learn the difference between love and hate, that's why I'm explaining this. Because to learn the difference between love and hate, you have to put your soul back in heaven where it belongs. Okay? That's where you learn the difference between love and hate. Evil and the forces of love, things like that, okay? And I show you how to achieve this, okay? All right? Okay, back to the subject. How to defend love and freedom with the forces of love, okay? What you're doing is, when you deliver your soul to heaven correctly, you're defending love and freedom with the forces of love. Because that's what heaven is. Heaven is a pure love and freedom for your soul. Heaven is a beautiful, tranquil, pure love and freedom for your soul. That's what heaven is, okay? And that's why you'll be defending love and freedom with the forces of love when you deliver your soul to heaven correctly, okay? Because what you're doing when you deliver your soul to heaven correctly, you are defending your love, heaven, while delivering your soul to heaven, okay? So you're defending your soul in heaven while delivering your soul to heaven because heaven is a pure love and freedom for your soul, okay? And you achieve this through believing in yourself and removing your fear, okay? That's how you achieve this, okay? Because what happens is you believe in yourself and you never ever give up to win, okay? Against evil and you achieve this, okay? All of a sudden, you know, your love starts to increase and then you'll start defending love and freedom with the forces of love, okay? Because you're removing your fear. As you remove your fear, this builds courage, okay? All right? And as you remove your fear, you'll stop prejudging and hating, okay? And you'll start learning the difference between good, bad, things like that, okay? And as you remove your prejudice and hate, you will stop bowing and breaking to prejudice and hate, okay? And you'll only bow and break to Jesus Christ, love, and heaven, okay? You'll only bow and break to what's up there, not what's down here, unless it's love, of course, and it's Jesus Christ or something like that, okay? Or, 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 or it's heaven or something that represents pure love and freedom, okay? Things like that, okay? You'll have to bow and break to that stuff, okay? You just can't bow and break the prejudice and hate, okay? All right? So, okay? So here's how that works. When you believe in yourself and you start removing your fear, your love is going to start to increase, okay? This increases the forces of your love. This goes against prejudice and hate, okay? 
See, prejudice and hate, evil, attacks love and freedom. Okay? That's what that does. All right? That attacks love and freedom when it attacks heaven. Okay? All right? What you're doing is you're defending heaven. So you'll be defending love and freedom with the forces of love against prejudice and hate. Okay? So that means the trolls and cowards are probably going to attack you with things like hate, ball breaking, chop breaking, the stab in the back, prejudice attack, things like that, okay? All right? Because what they're trying to do is break your love because they want to keep your love weak. But you want to increase the forces of your love so you always believe in yourself and you never ever give up to win. Because I want you to win, okay? And we chili your soul to heaven. We want you to win against evil, okay? So this is going to increase the forces of your love, okay? I went after, I went after Satan for these reasons. I'm going to tell you the reasons why I went after Satan. Okay? My life was totally destroyed. See, I had an American dream. I never ever gave up to win. And my life was completely destroyed over this. Okay? And then later on, I started realizing that Jesus Christ was powerful, unbreakable love. Things like that. And that heaven was a pure love and freedom because I was increasing the forces of my love. And then I realized I was going after Satan for the torturing and murdering of Jesus Christ. That's why I'm going after Satan. I'm going after Satan for the torturing and murdering of Jesus Christ and for destroying my life and putting me in heaven to the gates of hell. That's why I'm going after Satan, okay? My life on this planet is destroyed, was destroyed, it still is, because of this, okay? The world hates my guts, they ball break me, chop break me, and they destroyed my reputation, because I'm getting the message out for heaven, and my love is conquering evil, okay? That's it, all right? I never give up to win, all right? And that's it. I never give up to win. That's how I delivered my soul to heaven. Okay? I always believe in myself and I never give up to win. Okay? When they ball break me, chop break me, and hate me and stab me in the back, I didn't break. I didn't break. And that drove them crazy. And that's why they attacked me with their prejudice and their hate. Okay? So, all right? And that means you're in the war for heaven when you do this. When you defend love and freedom with the forces of love, you're in the war for heaven. Because heaven is at war. See, Satan started a war against heaven when he created fear. Okay? And the evil keeps you in fear. So your love never increases. So I'm showing you how to increase the forces of your love to go against the evil. So you can put your soul back in heaven where it belongs. Okay? All right? When you deliver your soul to heaven correctly, this is what you're doing. You're defending your love, heaven, while delivering your soul to heaven. You're defending love and freedom with the forces of love. That's what you're doing. Because that's what heaven is. It is a pure love and freedom for your soul. So as you remove more and more of your fear, you build more and more courage, and you get tough like a warrior, you're bringing your soul closer to heaven is what you're doing, okay? And as your love increases, you're protecting your soul and defending heaven at the same time, okay? That's what you're doing, all right? And as you remove more and more and more of your fear, you'll stop prejudging and hating and you become like a non-sinner, yeah. Then your love's conquering evil, that's what's happening. Your love is conquering evil. And you're in the war for heaven. Never give up. Because what we're trying to do is prevent suicide. That's why we don't want you giving up. Okay? Never give up to win. We want to prevent suicide. And yes, this is probably going to cause mental illness on you. Because I, I have a mental illness because of this. I went into panic attacks. and I went into a deep depression. You know, because I really didn't understand at the time. You know, because my love was still increasing. I could see evil at the time, but I wasn't sure what was going on. Okay? I was learning as I went, you know? 
And that was it. As my love got stronger and stronger and stronger, I got to see more and more and more of the truth from heaven. That's how I figured out that heaven is at war against Satan, okay? Then evil, okay? And that's how I figured that out. And because I can see that, that's what I see. You know, I see Satan. I see the truth in real time. When you see evil, you're seeing the truth in real time. Okay? All right? When somebody hates you and breaks your balls and breaks your chops, you know, that, that's evil. You're being attacked by prejudice and hate. You're being attacked by prejudice and hate, troll and coward. That's somebody that defends Satan when you're attacked by that. Somebody's defending Satan when you get attacked by that. Okay? When you get attacked by hate, ball breaking, chop breaking, they're stabbing in the back and they're, they're talking behind your back and they blame you for this, blame you for that, everything's your fault. You know, you can't do nothing, you're not allowed to do anything wrong without getting in trouble. Yeah, I know what it feels like. They're defending Satan because you're increasing the forces of your love. That's what's happening. The trolls and cowards are defending Satan and attacking you because you're increasing the forces of your love because you're defending love and freedom with the forces of love. That's what's happening because your love is getting stronger and stronger. You're conquering evil is what you're doing. Okay? And that's what you're doing when you defend love and freedom with the forces of love. Okay? Because evil attacks love and freedom. Okay? And takes your freedoms away. Things like socialism, communism, things like that take your love and freedoms away. They take your love and freedoms away. So your soul never makes it to heaven. That's why they're taking your love and freedoms away. So your soul never makes it to heaven. That's why we get attacked by evil when we deliver our souls to heaven. Because they, they don't want you to have love and freedom. Evil takes your love and freedoms away. That's why it's there. You know? You know? <laughs> really. Satan can take his fear and evil and he can stick it up his ass. You know what I mean? That's how I feel. And I see it for what it is. You know? Because my love is that strong and, and powerful and unbreakable. I'm the forces of powerful, unbreakable love. I conquer evil. And I can see Satan for what he is. I see him. He can't hide behind religion anymore. He ain't pulling no fast one over me. I'll tell you that right now. Because my love is too strong and powerful. Okay? My love is unbreakable and powerful. I see Satan. He cannot hide from me anymore. Okay? And that's it. I'm trying to show you how to achieve the same thing that I achieved. Because I want you to deliver your souls to heaven. So... Because if you win, heaven wins. I want you to be a warrior for heaven. When you're a warrior for heaven, you defend love and freedom with the forces of love. Through believing in yourself and never giving up to win against evil. Go after it for what it did to you. And I know it did some bad stuff to you already. I ain't got to explain it. You know, I already explained what it is. When you increase the forces of your love, you get attacked by prejudice and hate. That's the way it is. Because you're in a war for heaven. And I don't want you committing suicide. I want you to never ever give up to win. No matter how mentally ill this makes you. Never give up to win. It hurts. You know, falling into a deep depression hurts. I know what it feels like to be attacked by evil. It hurts. But don't give up. Okay? Because you're in a war for heaven. And I don't want you to ever ever give up. Okay? Right? You're in the war for heaven. I don't want you to never give up and I want you to remove your fear. Because when you remove your fear, that means your love is fighting back evil. And you're defending heaven. Okay? When you defend love and freedom with the forces of love, you're defending heaven. You're not defending Satan anymore when you remove your fear. When you remove your fear, you're defending heaven. When you live in fear, you're defending Satan. And you're going to attack love and freedom. With prejudice and hate. Evil. Yeah. Okay? When you remove your fear, you will not attack love anymore. 
and you will start defending heaven. Okay? Because you will stop attacking love. Okay? All right? Um, I think that's about it on that. Uh, yeah, another thing. The laws of prejudice. Don't fall for that, okay? That's things like, you can't do that! That's a law of prejudice. You can't do that. I can't tell you how many times I heard that, you know what I mean? So, don't listen to that stuff. Well, that's impossible. Don't listen to that stuff. Anything of discouragement, don't listen to that, okay? It's trying to break your love and keep it weak. Don't fall for that. We're trying to make your love powerful and unbreakable so you defend love and freedom with the forces of love and put your soul back in heaven where it belongs, okay? And if you get attacked by evil, we have your back. Me, Jesus Christ, love in heaven, we have your back. Okay? Jesus Christ had my back all the way to heaven. He had my back all the way to heaven. He made sure I didn't give up. He made sure I didn't give up. I tell you that right now. I thought when I thought about Jesus Christ, I didn't give up. Okay? Know that he is there and he has your back. And you will never give up to win. Okay? Jesus Christ has your back when you get attacked by evil. Because that Jesus Christ, his love was attacking, you know, evil too. Was conquering evil. Jesus Christ was powerful, unbreakable love. His love was conquering evil. That's how strong and powerful his love is. It was, a, it was conquering evil. That's why he was being attacked by prejudice and hate. I got more prejudice and hate stories than Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ has prejudice and hate stories too. You probably read them in the Bible or whatever, you know? So I've seen some of his stories, how they went after him. Those, that's all prejudice and hate. Okay? I believe in heaven. I never read the Bible. I believe in heaven, okay? So just so you know. But I heard, I heard, about, I heard all the prejudice and hate he was attacked by. He was stabbed in the back with a prejudice attack. I know all about it. Okay? And I learned that from heaven. So. Alright? And so was I. I got just, I got more prejudice and hate stories than Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ has a lot of prejudice and hate stories. I'll tell you that right now. I think you know all about that stuff. How they went after him. Oh yeah. Okay, that's because his love was conquering evil. That's why they went after him. Okay? All right, now we're going to talk about how to deliver your soul to heaven. Okay? All right? First, we're gonna, I'm going to explain to you how an animal delivers its soul to heaven. See, with an animal, okay, an animal always believes in itself and it never, ever gives up to win. Why? Because it lives in the wild. Okay? And when an animal lives in the wild, it has to survive has to survive in the wild. And in order to survive in the wild, it always believes in itself. It never gives up to win. Okay? That keeps the fear out. That keeps its soul in heaven. Okay? Yeah. All right? And then when the animal dies, because it never gives up to win, him, heaven and the animal never loses, okay? Its soul stays in heaven. And that's it. And I'm not afraid to die because my soul's already in heaven. I don't fear death, you know, things like that. So when your soul's in heaven, you're not going to fear death, okay? All right? Because you're in the war for heaven. You're not going to fear death when you're in the war for heaven, okay? But you're not going to bow and break the prejudice and hate either, okay? All right? That's why I don't want you committing suicide because you're probably in the war for heaven, that's why I keep stressing, do not commit suicide, okay? Animals don't commit suicide, okay? So, I think I'd give you a heads up on that one, all right? Uh, an animal has to survive to win. Now, it works the same way with a human. It's just that with a human, in order to survive, you gotta survive against evil. Because now you're in, because now you're in uh, civilization, see? Because civilization, we had fear. Fear was spread throughout the land. To civilization, evil and fear was spread throughout the land. To civilization, okay, that's where Satan created fear to keep souls out of heaven. As civilization went throughout the land, so did fear and evil. 
which is prejudice and hate, okay? And everybody started living in fear and they stopped delivering their souls to heaven, okay? That's what happened, okay? Now, how a human delivers its soul to heaven is you always believe in yourself and you never ever give up to win against evil, okay? And what happens is you start to remove your fear. And you gotta get tough like a warrior to do this, okay? So you gotta get tough like a warrior, all right? So, and you start to remove your fear and you start to build courage, okay? This fights back evil. You're defending love and freedom as you're doing this, okay? You're removing your fear, okay? As you're removing your fear, you're gonna stop prejudging and hating as you remove your fear, okay? The more fear you remove, the more sin you're gonna remove, okay? This is what makes you a sinner. Living in fear is what makes you a sinner, okay? So as you're removing this, you're, be, you're automatically behaving and becoming a non-sinner as you remove your fear, okay? When you remove all your fear, okay? You become a non-sinner, okay? Then your soul enters heaven, okay? When your soul enters heaven, you, you win. That's it. You win, okay? Because we want you to win, all right? You win. When your soul enters heaven, you win. You conquered evil. You win, okay? And your love's going to keep, you got to keep conquering evil. That means you in heaven never lose, okay? So you never, ever give up to win. Always. Never, ever give up to win. That keeps your soul in heaven, okay? All right? And what happens then is, you're not gonna live in fear because you know you're gonna win when you die. You know your soul's going to heaven. If you know your soul's in heaven, you're not gonna fear death, okay? You're not gonna fear death, okay? And there's no judgment. You don't have to fear judgment because you're the judge whether you wanted to deliver your soul to heaven correctly or not, okay? Because this is the correct way to heaven, by the way, okay? Because this is the truth from heaven, all right? And what else? Don't fear God, okay? They got you fearing God. Don't fear God. God loves you. Jesus Christ loves you. I love you. We pray for you. And we cheerlead your soul to heaven, okay? Don't fear us. Don't fear love. See, when you live in fear, you fear love. And then you attack it. That's why we got to remove the fear. See, Satan created fear to keep souls out of heaven, okay? All right? And to attack heaven when he started the war against heaven, okay? That's why we have to remove the fear, okay? All right? Fear was created by Satan, and that's why it needs to be removed. And that's why when you remove all your fear, you become a non-sinner, okay? All right? And your soul enters heaven, and you win. That's it, your love is conquering evil. Okay? All right? Uh, the laws of prejudice is you can't do that. That's impossible. Discouragement, okay? From heaven, we only encourage you. We don't discourage you. We encourage you because we want you to build courage, okay? Things like you can't do that. That's impossible. It ain't good enough. Those are the laws of prejudice. The blame game. All that stuff is the laws of prejudice, okay? Don't listen to any of that crap, okay? We're trying to put your soul back in heaven where it belongs, okay? Your soul belongs in heaven while you're alive. So it fights back evil, okay? Your soul belongs in heaven, where, heaven while you're alive, so it conquers evil and you win, okay? I want you to conquer evil and I want you to win like a warrior, all right? I want you to be a warrior. Okay? And never give up to win. Okay? That's it. All right? All right? I think I got everything there. Okay, now we're going to talk about the causes and effect between prejudice and hate and the forces of love. As you deliver your soul to heaven correctly, okay, this is what you're doing. You're defending your love, heaven, while delivering your soul to heaven. This protects your soul and heaven while delivering your soul to heaven. Okay? 
you're probably going to get attacked by evil, prejudice, and hate for this, okay? So that's why we want you to never, ever give up to win. Because what we're doing is we're preventing suicide. You may experience some mental illness because of this, okay? Because I believe the causes and effect between prejudice and hate and the forces of love causes mental illness and suicide, things like that, okay? So what we're trying to do is prevent the suicide and get your soul back into heaven, okay? And when we remove your fear, you will stop bowing and breaking to prejudice and hate, okay? So here's what happens. As your love gets stronger, it's gonna go up against their prejudice, okay? And it, their prejudice and trolls and cowards, they live in fear. People that live in fear are gonna attack you with their prejudice and hate. They're gonna attack you things with like hate, ball breaking, chop breaking, the stab in the back, prejudice attack. They're gonna blame you for this. Everything's your fault. It's never gonna end. But they're probably gonna ruin your reputation, I'll tell you that right now. They ruined mine, so. I've been through a lot, okay? It's not easy being me. So, things like that, okay? And they're gonna attack you with that, all right? And they, they're gonna keep coming at you because you made your love unbreakable. When you make your love unbreakable and powerful, it drives them crazy. It drives them mad. That's what it does, okay? It drives them mad. And they keep coming back at you, keep coming back at you. Because they don't want you to win, that's why. That's why. They're trying to break your love and keep it weak. And you're not gonna allow that because you're unbreak your powerful, unbreakable love, you're not gonna let them break you, okay? And that's gonna drive them out of their minds. Just try to ignore them as best you can, okay? All right? And if somebody comes at you and attacks you, you know, with the, uh, you know, somebody attacks you, you have every right to defend heaven verbally, okay? Usually it's verbally, all right? Because you're not gonna bow and break the prejudice of an eight, okay? So, you know, so, it's not voices, it's just you know what heaven knows as your soul gets closer to heaven, okay? You just know what heaven knows. You just start to know the difference between love and hate, things like that, okay? When your soul's close enough to heaven or your soul's in heaven, things like that, you're gonna get attacked by prejudice and hate, okay? Things like that, yeah. And they're gonna try to break your love. That's where you're allowed to defend heaven, verbally. So let's say somebody tries to break your balls or chops, okay? You're allowed to say, hey, listen here, you know? My soul's already in heaven. I win when I die. Have a nice life. That usually shuts them right up, you know? That usually shuts them right up. You know what I mean? And if they laugh, hey, you laugh at them. You're the one who's gonna win when they die. You know what I mean? Who cares if they win the conversation? You're gonna win when you die. So you, you laugh at them. <laughs> you laugh at them. Because you're the one that's gonna win when you die. At that point, you're not gonna care about your life anymore because you know you're gonna win when you die. Okay? Things in your life ain't gonna be as important as you think they're gonna be if your soul's in heaven. Because you're gonna notice being attacked by this crap, you know, so, all right? And um, let's say you get attacked or somebody breaks your balls and you wanna be a little nasty about it, okay? And hey, somebody's breaking your balls or chops, so you can go, hey, take your prejudice and hate and stick it up your ass. That's what you tell them, you know? I tell Satan he can take his fear and evil and stick it up his ass. That's what I tell Satan, you know? So, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Okay? So, Satan started a war with me in heaven a long time ago. I didn't start the war with Satan. Satan started the war with us. You understand? So, and I don't lose. And we don't lose. We don't lose. We're warriors, okay? We don't lose. Heaven don't lose, okay? We don't lose, okay? All right? So, and that best explains that, okay? I hope this was a good talk. 
Uh, I want you to be a warrior for heaven, okay? I want you to win, okay? Because when you win, heaven wins, okay? All right? All right? Evil prejudice and hate breaks love and keeps it weak. What I'm trying to do is I'm showing you how to make your love unbreakable and powerful, just like Jesus Christ, so we can conquer evil together. Okay? All right? I'm showing you how to make your love powerful and unbreakable so we can conquer evil together. All of us together. We all got each other's back. Okay? I have your back. You get attacked by evil, me, Jesus Christ, love in heaven has your back. Okay? We have your back. All right? Okay? And when you get attacked by evil or you get attacked by, by prejudice and hate, think about Jesus Christ. Think about it, okay? All right? Think about how he has your back because his love was conquering evil while he was alive. And I think that would make you want to win because he won, you know? Jesus Christ won when he was conquering evil. He won, okay? And I want you to win. It's the same thing, okay? All right? I want you to win. All right? I love you. We pray for you. We cheerlead your soul to heaven. And we got your back if you get attacked by evil. Okay? All right? So, we want you to win. This is the truth from heaven. There's only one truth, and that's in heaven. I see the truth in real time, and that's what I'm explaining to you. Okay? All right? I love you. I pray for you. And I cheer lead your soul to heaven. Okay? We love you. We pray for you, and we cheerlead your soul to heaven. Jesus Christ, love in heaven, okay? And we have your back if you get attacked by evil, okay? Think, think about Jesus Christ if you get attacked by evil or if you get attacked by prejudice and hate. He's there to make sure you don't give up. So you, okay? This prevents suicide, okay? That's what this does. This prevents suicide and gets your soul into heaven where it belongs. Because that's what's causing suicide. The war for heaven. People don't understand the war for heaven. And they commit suicide. Okay? And that's the truth. Heaven is at war. We need to remove the fear. Okay? I'm going to tell you what fear causes. Okay? This is caused by fear. Okay? Prejudging hate is caused by fear. Okay? All right? Evil is created by fear. Prejudging hate is created by fear, okay? Evil creates more fear, okay? Terrorism is created by fear, okay? Terrorism creates more fear, okay? And then we got chaos. That's created by fear, okay? All right? We got, we got suicide and mental illness. Suicide is is created by evil because it's when a person gets attacked by evil they don't know the truth from heaven and they commit suicide because they don't understand what's happening to them okay mental illness i believe in most cases is the causes and effect between the forces of love and evil okay because that's what happened to me i went into a deep deep depression i was in pain okay I was being attacked by evil, okay? And I had uh, panic attacks and all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff going on with me with my mental illness, okay? I'm taking Debacoat and things like that for bipolar and stuff like that, bipolar depressive. I used to have panic attacks after I was being attacked by prejudice and hate. Yeah, I went to a lot of panic attacks being attacked by prejudice and hate, okay? 
Uh, chaos is created by fear. Okay? What else? Uh, hate and corruption causes pain and suffering. This is what we see going on now. Okay? In the United States of America and throughout the world. Hate and corruption is causing pain and suffering. The war over in Ukraine, okay? Russia attacking Ukraine. That's, that was caused by hate and corruption. Causes pain and suffering. That was caused by hate and corruption. Okay? That's what caused that war, was hate and corruption. Okay? That's it, all right? And the hate and corruption is prejudice and hate. That's what it is, okay? It's evil. Prejudice and hate is evil, okay? That's it, okay? Uh, what else? All the bad shit you see going on around the world is created by fear, okay? If we remove the fear, we will defend love and freedom with the forces of love, okay? We'll put souls back into heaven where they belong, okay? We'll restore love and freedom, and heaven starts to win the war if we all remove our fear, okay? All right? Because this is the truth from heaven, all right? Uh, I think that's everything. I tried to get everything I could in, in there for you that I could think of, that I know. All right? I try to get as much information from heaven for you that I can. Okay? I want you to win. I want you to conquer evil and win. Because the more you know, I know you're going to win. Okay? When you win, heaven wins. All right? When you win, heaven wins. That's why I want you to be a warrior for heaven. Okay? We love you. Jesus Christ love in heaven. Okay? And we got your back if you get attacked by evil. We love you. We pray for you. We cheerlead your soul to heaven. And we got your back if you get attacked by evil. Okay? All right? I'm just talking to you. There's no scripts or nothing. I don't use any scripts. I'm just talking to you. Okay, so, all right, because I feel it's actually the forces of love and this fights back evil, the way I do this, okay? So, because the more you know, the more we can fight back evil and conquer it, okay? That's why I'm making these videos, so we can conquer evil together and start putting souls back into heaven again, okay? All right, I was attacked by a lot of evil. All right? I just don't ever want you to give up, okay? All right? All right? So, we love you, Jesus Christ, love in heaven. We pray for you. We love you. We pray for you. We chilly your soul to heaven, and we got your back if you get attacked by evil. Okay? All right? Until next week, I'll try to think of another topic for us, okay? But I want you to defend love and freedom with the forces of love. Because when you defend love and freedom with the forces of love, you're defending heaven. And you will stop defending Satan when you remove your fear. If you live in fear, you're defending Satan. If you remove your fear, you're defending heaven. Okay? Because heaven is at war. And I'm going to have to stress this more because the more people know that heaven is at war, the faster we can get this message out. Okay? And that's what this is. All right? So, I love you until next week.